Hey guys, welcome back to the Oilers Rundown. have a few news items I want to go over with you guys tonight. Uh, there was a report last night from Emily Kaplan of ESPN and Bob Stoffer kind of touched on the same subject today in an interview with TSN. Basically, both of them saying Monday is a huge game for Dave Tippett and his future. If the Oilers do lose to the Senators on Monday, the Heat will really be on to fire Dave Tippett. It doesn't mean it will happen for sure, of course, but obviously the Ottawa Senators are not a strong team right now. So if the Oilers fall to them, continue this losing streak, it's going to be really hard for Ken Holland just to sit back and do nothing at that point. Following the Oilers and Senators game, the Oilers do have a huge break. So there is an opportunity there, as we mentioned before, to possibly have like a mini training camp if you wanted to bring in a new head coach at that point. But like I said, no guarantees and we'll have to see what happens. Might not be before Monday, but I do think over that period, Ken Holland is going to try and swing a trade. At this point, it's the general consensus that the Oilers probably want to bring in a goalie. A goalie could affect the most change. Obviously, it doesn't solve all the Oilers' problems. The Oilers got quite a few holes they need to fill, but a goalie can fill a lot of those holes for you, at least temporarily. Come in with some big saves, help secure wins. The Oilers basically over this losing streak, and some not all the games, but some of the games have been a save or two away from basically winning the hockey game. If a goalie can come in and make that save, not let in that first shot of the game, it could be huge. I do plan on having a goalie targets video up for you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go over the options that the Oilers have and see which ones are ultimately the best fit for them. The Oilers did lose another player to COVID protocol today. Kyler Yamamoto has now been forced to go into it. Really crappy news considering how well Yamamoto's been playing. He's definitely been one of the better players over this past stretch of games. So crappy to lose him, but at this point the Oilers are only going to be losing him for one game. So in that sense, it's actually good timing. If the Oilers do have any more players going into COVID protocol, this would actually be almost the ideal time for it to happen. Maybe they can get that Monday game in first, but afterwards, the Oilers aren't playing anyway. So if a player's got to go into COVID protocol, do it now. And then by the time the Oilers are playing again, hopefully everyone's ready to go. Speaking of COVID protocol, Connor McDavid, Tyson Berry, and Derek Ryan will all be out of COVID protocol on Sunday, so they will all be eligible to play in Monday's game against Ottawa. We'll have to see how they're all feeling, but I'm going to guess it's probably a 99% certainty at this point that we see all three players back in the lineup against Ottawa. We did get some other injury updates today from Dave Tippett. Ryan Nugent Hopkins had his lower body injury treated today. He's not expected to be on the ice for at least a week. And according to recent reports, he is expected to be out at least three or four weeks. William Legison missed practice with a bruised foot. He is expected to be at the optional skate tomorrow, though. And Dave Tippett said Chris Russell is about a week away at this point. And the big piece of news today, of course, Dylan Holloway was skating with the guys. Dave Tippett said he's expected to be cleared on Monday to participate fully. At that point, I'd expect him to be sent down to the Bakersfield Condors for conditioning, and I'm sure he'll get some games in there. And depending on how things go with Bakersfield, we could possibly see Holloway later in the year up here with the Oilers. So, fantastic news. Apparently, Holloway is in game shape. He's been skating a lot recently, so great to hear. Because the Oilers could use any kind of spark they can get right now. Obviously, you don't want to put too much on Holloway's shoulders right away, but if he can come in and contribute on the third or fourth line, anything would help the Oilers at this point, and I know we're all looking forward to seeing Holloway and what he can do. Well, I think that's all for tonight, guys, but like I said, be on the lookout for my goalie targets video tomorrow. I'm also planning on doing one for the coaching staff and probably some other targets that the Oilers can look at too for third line center, and left shot D, other areas of need that have been mentioned. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.